All right, in this video I'm going to show how we can achieve polyphonic unison in Reactor. And what I mean by that is for each incoming MIDI note, we're going to play that note on two voices and slightly detune each voice in order to get a wider sound with our oscillators. To achieve this effect, I'm going to end up using two instruments and I'm going to set the number of voices inside the first instrument to 8 and then we're going to create another instrument inside that that will have four voices and we're going to end up using MIDI data from this instrument here and piping that data that has four voices out into our larger instrument with eight voices where we can double each note and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Unfortunately, we first have to tangle with this strange limitation where instruments can only output monophonic signals. So we have this four voice note pitch module and we actually are going to need to split it into four different signals, one for each voice and then when we get back into our larger parent instrument, we can add all of them back together again to get our original s signal. And to do all of this, we're going to be using the from voice module, which I'm setting up right now to break the signal apart. And then we're going to use the to voice module to put it all back together again. So we can actually just duplicate the note pitch structure there and then insert the MIDI gate in, in its place. And once we have that finished, we'll be all done with this instrument. And now let's create a macro that will take these four signals from the note pitch and merge them all back together again. So we're going to use the two voice module, as I just mentioned. And once we've run the signals through the two voice module, we can use an add module to get them all back into the same signal chain. So now I'm just going to duplicate this structure three times for each extra voice that we want to process and we can run all the outputs into the add module and once we're done with this we can actually uh, duplicate all four of the two voice modules that we have and create voices five through eight which are all going to be connected to the same inputs as one through four as you can see so we just want to change the voice input and then we can run all of these back into the add module as well and then we can use this structure uh, to process the gate signal as well in just a moment so basically we just broke apart our four voice signal and we're putting it back together again so that when we do we'll have voice one of the original signal will be on voices one and five of the new signal and voice two will be on voices two and six and etc in this way we've effectively doubled each voice so once we have the note pitches doubled up we also need to double up our gates which we can use the same exact structure for so it's pretty simple the next thing I want to do is to detune the pitch values so that we don't want to have the exact same note pitch on voices 1 and 5. We want to have them be slightly detuned from each other and that's going to give us our kind of our widening effect. So we're going to create a new macro to do that. And I'm going to use a voice info module to create a basic signal that we can mold into a detuner and we're going to do that by running the V output of the voice info module into a compare module that will compare the value to 4 
And what this is going to do is voices 1, 2, 3, and 4 are going to output a 0, and voices 5 through 8 will output a 1. So we can take that value and multiply it by 2 and then subtract 1. So we end up with a value um, of negative 1 on the first four voices and positive 1 on voices 5 through 8. And next we can multiply that value by our spread knob and this will give us our amount to spread each voice up or down by and we can simply add the output of that to our incoming pitch value and this will be our new pitch All right, so now let's create a simple sound source for this pitch and gate to control. And we want to use a sync oscillator because each note pitch is going to end up triggering two voices that are going to be slightly detuned from each other. And if we don't sync both of those oscillators up at that time, the sound we'll end up getting will be inconsistent. Um, so. We'll just use the sync module to sync to a new gate press and a simple ADSR envelope to control the amplitude. And we can connect the output of this to our speakers. And when we return to the panel, we're left with the interesting effect of having two instruments, but we can just as easily uh, turn the one that's only being used for MIDI information to not be visible. And just take a moment or two here to rearrange this mess of knobs. And then let's quickly test the sound. All right, so you can hear this simple little effect can take a single simple oscillator and make it into a much more complex and evolving sound. And one problem that is commonly associated with this is that when you have two signals that are playing at a very s close frequency, you can get a kind of beating effect in the sound. And a good way to combat this is to spread the voices uh, onto separate sides of the stereo so that one half will be on the left side and the other half will be on the right. So we can do this pretty easily with the macros that we've already created. Let's take a quick look. So instead of adding our incoming value to the spread knob, this time we're going to use the knob to control the stereo pan of the incoming signal. And this is fairly simple to set up. I'm going to change the name of this knob so we don't confuse them and we'll end up adding an extra output for the left and right sides of our macro. Okay, so now let's just run our oscillator through this uh, stereo spread effects and then run both outputs to our speakers. Alright, so you can hear it kind of improves the sound to spread the voices apart from each other in the stereo field. <laughs> 